feel like I could jump in. I feel like I could reach it.
Ben Franklin.
come here, sir, quick. Let's go. Ready, and round kick. Ah! Yeah. Ah! There we go. All right. Thank <laughs> you. 
Good morning, everybody, and welcome. On behalf of the Mayor Jack Allen and the Municipality of Bethel Park and the Bethel Park Recreation Department, we would like to welcome everybody here to Community Day 2022. At this time, uh, we will do the presentation of the flag by Boy Scout Troop 228. of America. 
and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. At this time, I would like to introduce Councilman Mark O'Brien, who will be singing a national anthem with the Bethel Park High School Marching Band under the direction of Chad Thompson. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, uh, I just want to introduce the members of council that are here, Councilman Mark O'Brien, Lindsey Flynn, John Oakes, and Joe Janisak. I want to welcome you here today. We do have some special guests with us, our State Senator, Devlin Robinson. Would you like to say a few words? Sure. I just want to say I go to a lot of parades in this job, and Bethel Park is definitely one of the best. You have a beautiful community, and uh, we're all invested in making sure that that continues. Thank you. Thank you. We also, we also have our state representative, Natalie Mihalik. Would you like to say a few words? An awesome day for an awesome community. Go Bethel Park. <laughs> Thank you. And our county councilman, Tom Dewar, is here today. Uh, I don't know if he wanted to say we words, but we want to welcome Tom. Uh, Tom. A lot going on today. I would encourage everybody to stop by all the booths, check out uh, what's going on. This is the fundraising arm for everybody, for all these groups and organizations. So not only stop, would ask you to buy something also. A couple things from the municipality. And the recreation uh, booth, we will be selling uh, some tickets to the Splash Pad fundraisers. Uh, the first is the mystery treasure chest that uh, is valued over almost $4,700. And if you can purchase tickets today, and we will be doing the actual picking of the winner today at 2 o'clock. And you can also register for the community scavenger hunt. And all the proceeds will be benefiting uh, the splash pad project they're working on you'll also be able to buy some toters and some garbage cans uh, and also the miracle sisters will be here between 10 and 12 30 and the teen villains will be here from 12 30 to 3 o'clock so thanks everybody from coming and have a great day enjoy
High School Marching Band. Let's hear it. Welcome to get everybody to Community Day 2022 here in Bethel Park. As you see, it's a great day for a lot of fun. I am DJ Jimmy Mack with DJ Dorian next to my side. We're going to hit you with some tunes from here on out. Don't forget, visit with each and every vendor here today. Stop in, tell them they said hello, and stop up and say hi to us. If there's anything at all you want to hear, we'll gladly take your request. Folks, enjoy your day and enjoy the music. Thank you for coming. Hello, Bethel Park. This is Alan Levine with another challenge to interview every sponsor at Community Day. Look at the beautiful weather. I got my SBF 50 on me, so I'm ready to start interviewing. And here's my first victim, I mean booth. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. Who are you? I'm Diane Senefani. Thank you. And um, you. Matthew Dale. All right, and you guys can just hold the mics right okay. under your chin. And you have a great looking booth. Please explain who you are and what you're doing here. So we're the Bethel Park Middle School lacrosse uh, program for girls. Uh, we go by the Hawklings. We're here to just try to grow the sport and get kids acclimated or acclimated to the game and hopefully get some new players. Sounds great. Anything you want to add, he'll, he'll give the mic to you. We uh, work with girls from first through eighth grade. Um, beginners are always welcome. And who do they contact? Uh, so <laughs> our email address is bphawklings at gmail.com, uh, and then we'll have meetings every month uh, starting in October. And what's up with the suckers? Oh, so we have a game here that you can win a Bethel Park lacrosse mug or t-shirt, uh, so you get a chance at picking a player off the playing field. If you have a black dot on the bottom of the lollipop, you get a, a mug. If you have an orange dot on the bottom of your, your player, you get a t-shirt. Very no good. No dot, no win. Oh, yep. You still win a lollipop. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Whoa, so you're not a sucker. You get the lollipop. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Excellent. Hey, thank you guys, and we appreciate you. Oh, thank, thank you, you very much. Have a I'm at this great-looking booth here. I want to thank all of you for what you're doing on Community Day. We appreciate you. Sure. And please tell me your name. Hi, my name's Molly Crabb. Thank you very much, and you're president? I am the president of the Bethel Park Girls Lacrosse. Well, thanks for letting me coerce you into being an sure, interview. Sure, What is going on here today? So today we wanted to bring awareness to Bethel Park Girls Across. It's growing 120% here in western Pennsylvania. So we have, um, by doing that, we have some information to give out for young people who are interested in joining. And if they play a game, let's throw a ball into a lacrosse net. We have some prizes to give out. That's all they got to do is throw it in there. They got that to just, seems they easy. Give what do you think? Exactly. I think exactly. it's pretty fun. Tell me your name. My name's Reese Fontabese. Thanks for talking. And what's this win $25 gift yeah. card, gas cards? Reese, you want to talk about that? Yeah. All right, next up, uh, grab the mic. Okay. Hi, I'm Samantha Manns. I'm one of the vice presidents of Bethel, Girls, Bethel Park Girls Lacrosse, and we are giving away a $50 gas card and a $25 um, gift card for restaurants for people that donate Does to... Does that mean it's $75? No, we're going to do one each. Okay, you had to explain yeah. that. Thank you. One each. I'm a simple man here. <laughs> uh, one and each. That's great. And it's if you donate to our veterans dinner, um, you get a ticket to put in for these prizes. And our veterans dinner is November 6th. And if you are a veteran, you are more than welcome to attend. It's at the VFW on McMurray Road. Valley Road. Or Valley Book Road. Okay, we can get close to it. I know yeah. where it is. Yep. My son's a veteran from the Navy, so we'll have to have him right. think yeah. about it. Yes. Yeah, come. Veterans come are free. Uh, now you ladies can talk. You're, you're trying to get us out <laughs> there. Tell me your name there. again. Uh, my name is Samantha Manns. Okay, can you pass the mic to the next person? Your name? Uh, I'm Kat Tenna. And they told me you could talk. Well, I'm the only senior here right now, so I Congratulations. Have Thank you. You made it. You're yeah. almost <laughs> Last You're almost year. done. Yes, I remember those days. Well, thank you for being on there. Say your name one more time. I'm getting um, old, so I I'm need to Pat hear that. Tenna. Thank you. Pass yep. it on to the nice young lady there. Hi, I'm Athena Claggett. And somehow they coerced you to stand over here. Yeah. Well, she's one of our freshmen. She's a freshman, so we're welcoming her to the team. Power to the freshmen. Good luck, ladies, and thanks again. We appreciate you. All right, I'm at this great-looking booth. 
And this young lady started talking to me right away. Please tell me your name. Uh, my name is Hannah Chikis, and I'm part of the Buffalo tennis team. The tennis team. I drive by there every day. Yeah, that's good. I see your coach ordering all of you around. Yes. How are you doing? I'm good. Um, I've been well with this team. And uh, what year are you in? I'm in 11th grade at Bethlehem High School. That is great. I appreciate it. What is happening here? Uh, so we are running the tennis booth for the tennis team uh, on community day and we are just running a uh, well, well, we are selling the moms and cookies just to help out with our tennis team. Okay. And uh, what do you have here? Looks like cookies or something? or? Yeah, so these are the cookies that uh, we are, are selling for the tennis team. Um, All right, they got the approval from yes. the tennis team. You know my question? Hi, I'm Vanessa Troxel. What grade are you in? I'm in 11th grade. Another one, that's great. Yeah. How do you like tennis? I really like tennis, it's fun. <laughs> that's great, next one. Hi. Hi. I'm Kira Ross. Thank you very much for knowing the question. What grade are you in? I'm in ninth grade. Whoa, a freshman here. Yeah. How do you like tennis? Um, I like it a lot. It's fun. Good. Pass the mic on. Okay. Hi. Hi. I'm Angela Novella Saris. Thanks for knowing that. Yeah. What grade are you in? I'm a junior. Nice. And do you like tennis? I do. Yeah, I that's, love it. That's good. Yeah. You got the answers correct. Pass this on. Hi, I'm Amelia Lancet. Thanks for knowing the question. You're what welcome. grade are you in? Uh, tenth grade. Oh, now we got ninth, tenth, and eleventh. Very yes. good. Do you like tennis? I like it a lot, yeah. What's your favorite shot? Uh, probably forehand. All right, thank you. Next. Hi, I'm Molly Welch. But you did very well. <laughs> what grade are you in? I'm in tenth grade. You're a tenth grader and you yeah. got that. Excellent. Do you like tennis? Yeah, I like it. The girls are really nice. <laughs> nice. All right, pass the mic. Hi, I'm Julia Gobi. Thanks for knowing that. Yeah. What grade are you in? I'm in 10th grade. Another 10th grader? Yeah. Do you like tennis? Yeah, I love tennis. Well, good luck to you in all you do. Thank pass you. Pass that mic to the original, and we'll let her end this booth. Tell them your name one more time, Star. I'm Hannah Chikas. She'll be TV famous on BPTV. <laughs> Thank you so much, ladies. Good luck in all you do, especially in tennis. Thank but you. But don't forget the classroom. A's are cool. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. All right, my next booth is right here. It looks great. I saw kids throwing. I grew up playing baseball in Green Tree, so it's my first love. Please tell me your name. Uh, my name is Matt Crisson, and uh, we're with Bethel Park Baseball. Okay, the Rec League? Rec League, yeah. I understand that being a longtime resident of Bethel Park. Right. And I appreciate you guys. What's happening today here? Uh, well, right now we have a, a raffle for our Yeti. Uh, it's $10 per ticket. And we're going to have a drawing at our October 15th golf outing. Nice. You get... Where's your golf outing out? I forget. Okay. <laughs> Sorry I asked yeah. a hard question. <laughs> okay. We'll carry on. All right. It's a great looking booth. What's this with... Uh, uh, we're doing uh, a hardest pitch competition. It's uh, ages 18 plus all the way down to six and under. Uh, the winner of each age group, uh, you get a $25 gift card for Dick's Sporting Goods. Nice. And it's 10 pitches for $5, five pitches for $3, and a pitch for a buck. I see 65 miles per hour, 15 to 17. That's pretty good. Yep. These kids, they, they throw a lot harder than I used to. So. Yeah, well, I was a hard thrower. I don't know what they can challenge me. My catcher's hand used to bleed. Yeah. <laughs> so that's how hard I threw. So I appreciate what you're doing. All right. Matt, thanks you so much. All right, thank Good you. Good luck in all you do with your kids. Thanks. Appreciate that's it. It's appreciated. Right. I come to this great-looking booth. Please tell me your name. Uh, my name is Bill Fleming. I'm an assistant scoutmaster for Troop, 29, Troop 228 and 9228. Well, thank you very much for all that, and thanks for being here. What's going on? you got all kind of animals and stuff around here. Explain it. Yeah, we're running a game called Angry Birds. Uh, you throw, try to knock the pigs off, and if you get them in the hole, you can win a prize. Sounds like a good plan. Yep. All the money goes to the scouts so that they can help uh, with their SKF, their safekeeping fund, to pay for trips and uh, any equipment that they might need. Thanks for explaining that. Thanks for being a sponsor, and good luck today. Right, thank you. Have a good day. All right, I'm at this next booth, says lacrosse. I meet the new coach. Please tell me your name. Luke Lewis. Thank you. And when did you start? I was 
brought in in August. Uh, I've actually been a part of the Bethel Park Lacrosse program for the past uh, four years now. Now I'm officially stepping in as the head coach. Congratulations. Thank you very much. And thank you for your booth. And what are you doing here today? Today we're just promoting uh, lacrosse at the youth level and the, the high school level. So we have different folks here. Uh, we're selling different t-shirts, shorts, hats. We also have a cool game going on in the background here where folks can take a shot, three shots at our dryer. And regardless of the outcome, you're going to get a cup that says Bethel Park Lacrosse on it. So really just trying to grow awareness and sell some apparel today. Would you steal that idea from Sidney Crosby hitting pucks against his? I've seen that once or twice, yeah. Okay, just, I love it. <laughs> Thank you again for sponsoring and being here on Community Day. Absolutely, yeah. Thanks. And good luck, Coach. All right, I appreciate it. Thank you. All right, I come to this booth. I've seen it over the years. There's a new guy i got to talk to. Please tell us your name. Sure, I'm Michael Cooley. I'm Michael Cooley with Bethel Park Hockey. Thank you very much. I appreciate what you guys have done in the past. When did you become a coach here now? I'm not the coach. I'm president of the Boosters. Well, I needed to know that. So that's, important, that's an important right? position, right? We have plenty of coaches around, though. Well, we need them. For sure. Definitely. And what are you doing here today? So we're here to support, to support the community in Bethel Park Hockey. We're operating. Thank you. We appreciate that. Well, we appreciate your support being up here with us as well. Oh, you're very welcome. Explain what's going on. So we have our uh, our annual dunk tank here, where we can dunk a Bethel Park hockey player as well as a coach. Uh, we are also offering uh, merchandise here as well. Uh, raffle tickets and our progressive 50-50 on the side. If you want more, uh, you can certainly tune into our website at Bethel Park Hockey. Okay, this will be on BPTV, so they'll Perfect. be able to check it out and help promote you. Very simple. Perfect. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Continued success. Thank you. All right, I always come to the rec booth, and Chuck always avoids me. Everybody ran from the booth. And Emily's my victim. She's only been here two months. Oh, did I say your name? What's your name? My name is Emily Scotchless. And how long have you been here? About two months now. Congratulations. You're Thank doing an interview with Alan Levine, the talking machine. Thank you. We appreciate you here. I'm excited to be here. And what are you doing today? So we are promoting our activities uh, for Name ages. one activity. So we have pickleball. And we That's have swimming. <laughs> There's a lot out there. So we're excited to promote all of our activities and programs that we have for this season. How do they get a hold of you? They can email online. Our emails are located on our website online. Or they can call the community center. Emily, you did great. Thank you so much. Thank you. You're Rookie appreciate of the Year. It. Oh, thank you very much. You're welcome. It. Have a good day. Thanks. My next recreation victim is... Please tell me your name. Um, I'm KP. I'm the municipal planner at Bethel Park. Nice to meet you. Chuck's my man here, and he does great things, but he ran away. He's very strategic. He does do that. And he I does. respect him. Look what he's done. And what are you doing here today, KP? So I am selling some fundraising tickets for our Splash Pad project. This is a $3.5 million uh, project that we are bringing to Bethel Park on Park Avenue um, next to the community center and the old schoolhouse. It is going where the t-ball field is. Um, we have our mystery. Really? Yes, it's going to be awesome. I'm so excited. I'll see everyone there. Um, we have our mystery treasure chest raffle, which we are announcing today at 2, so last chance to buy those tickets. It's $4,700 worth of gift cards donated from local businesses. Um, we also have our community scavenger hunt pickup um, over here, and then we're advertising some of our uh, car cruise uh, raffle baskets. So. KP, you're a wealth of information, and you did very well, and I didn't let you run off the rails, so thank you very much. We appreciate it. Glad to meet you. Nice to meet you. Thank you. Give me that. Oh, get out of here. All right. I tried to get the children's librarian, Elaine. She said she just got here and can't do it. She said Miss Nancy can do it. So are I'm you Miss Nancy? You. I am Miss Nancy. So tell us your name. I, my name is Nancy Martin, and I'm a youth services assistant at the Bethel Park Public Library. And I met you last year, and I've seen you there before. We did do this before. And I'm glad you forgot my name, because I tried to leave an impression. It didn't work. <laughs> I apologize. So this is Alan Levine, the talking machine, finding out what you're doing at the booth. So here today from the Bethel Park Public Library, we are promoting Todd Parr's Be Who You Are hold Day. It. I'll hold it. There you go which is this Friday, September 30th. It's a virtual online event. It's just celebrating that everybody's different and that you should be who you are. You can come to our booth, 
color in a face in the style of Todd Parr and we're adding it to this beautiful Be Who You Are Day collage which will be hung up at the library until the end of day on Friday the 30th. Excellent, great promo. Thank you guys for being here. I read every day so I'm so you're aware of libraries perfect. and books. Thank you for taking the time I to talk with us. I just can't color well. That's okay, reading's more important. Thank you very much. You're welcome, thank you. <laughs> All right, I'm at this, this next booth. Grandmaster Zhang, Taekwondo is my hero. Been on my show, and what do I run here? Tell us your name. Uh, my name is Blake Carter. And uh, what do you do here? I'm a martial arts instructor over at No Limits Martial Arts. Nice. And what's going on today? So today, I'm representing our school. Uh, what is the school? Our school is No Limits Martial Arts. Um, we're we need to get that out. This is for Community Day, so thank you. Yeah, absolutely, for sure. Um, you know, we're helping build children's discipline and confidence. That's one of the main things that we instill in our community, and we're uh, helping our community have a better leaders for tomorrow. I'm all in on Taekwondo and other martial arts. I've had MMA guests on and the first UFC fighter, Chris Dempsey. So I've done some things like that over 11 years of Pittsburgh Sports Line. What's going on at your booth that's important today? Uh, so today, you know, we're having students come up. They spin the wheel. They win a prize. What um, do they win? They'll win a free class pass to try out our classes at uh, our school. Tell um, them the school's name again because I'm about that. Yeah, for sure. Our school's is No Limits Martial Arts. We're up in the Cool Springs Plaza. I'm familiar with it. Definitely. I know the owner of the place and it's all good. <laughs> I know a few people here. Thank you very much. And, yeah, of course. And good Thank luck. You. I appreciate it. Thanks you for stopping by. That was great. What's your name? My name's Rylan. How long have you been doing this? Uh, two years. Way to go. All right, I'm at this next booth, and I had fond memories. I just shared how I was the cookie dad for my daughter, Casey Levine, many moons ago. Please tell me your name. Uh, my name is John Pivitz. Uh, I'm also a cookie dad uh, here with the Girl Scouts. I respect of, uh, that. That's why I'm talking to you. Uh, fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we're uh, Bethel South Girl Scouts. and uh, What number? Well, our council number is 5107. My troop is 51705. I know this stuff, so I need that no, out there Absolutely, the yeah. Um, now, we do have a lot of troops volunteering. Uh, you know, they're here. Girls are here trying to raise awareness for Girl Scouts and uh, try and encourage other girls to join us. And we're selling some pizza to help fill some tummies while we're at it. Well, I want to thank you so much, and thanks for being a fellow cookie dad. Absolutely. Good luck in all you do. Thank you very much. You too. All right, I come to this interesting-looking booth with a pretty young lady behind us. Tell me your name. Uh, my name's Dan. This is Kaylee. Uh, we both work at Back Office Plus. We're a local packing, printing, and shipping store. Where at? We are located on Route 88 down by uh, the Sheet Store in the Millennium Shops. Been here about five years now. Well, I remember when nothing was there but Columbia Gas. The Columbia Gas building used to that be there. That tower's right. still there. Yeah, we're old, though, so yeah, what yeah. can we say? Hey, I've never been this old before. But you will be this old tomorrow. I will be older. I understand. All right, what's going on at your booth? Uh, we're giving away a free photo booth, just a little uh, piece of memory you can take home from uh, Bethel Park Community Days of 2022. Great idea. Thank you. Great idea. Thank you. Yeah, we're, uh, like I said, we're a local packing, printing, and shipping store. We can, uh, we're a full service post office, FedEx, DHL. You can do your Amazon returns, all those things. We take care of it, and we're good looking. I appreciate your opinion. <laughs> Thank you so much. All right, you're very we welcome. We appreciate you being a sponsor and have it a booth. We love being here. Thank you. All right. All right. I was walking by and I saw this character named Elroy. So I asked somebody to talk. Sir, please tell me your name. My name is Jeff Pennington. And I know you can't talk, but what is going on at the booth here and who are you? We're with the uh, South Hills Elks organization. Uh, what, what we basically do is a service for the veterans. Uh, my son's a Navy vet, so I appreciate what you do. Thank you very much. We, uh, we take care of uh, a lot of the homeless vets, serving them. And we recently had a big uh, drive for Ukraine. Yes. And through I'm South part Hill. Ukrainian, so I appreciate uh, that even more. You're more than welcome. <laughs> it was a great cause, and Bethel Park supported it very well. We had a gigantic truck from uh, South Hills Movers, and we filled it up. 
and about the Warsaw of Poland and how it was being distributed. We're not sure yet from there, right. but uh, the Polish are doing uh, great things. Look at yeah. the millions they took in. Most definitely. So uh, no, it's good stuff. And you're right on South Park Road. We're right on South Park I know Road because I live on Bethel Church and I drive by your place regularly. Yep. When people go to the post office or uh, yes, uh, Dunkin' Donuts, there we're right beside them. No, very good. Thank you very much. And Thank you carry for Carry on, Elroy. He wants to give you a high five, Elroy. There you go. There you go. Thank you. I come to the, this next booth. I'm a fan of basketball and all sports here. I've run across my friend who's a friend who's a brother to my other friend. So please tell them your name. Jules Kai. Thank you. And what are you doing here today? We're here at Bethel Park Community um, just fundraising, trying to make some money for the Bethel Park High School uh, boys basketball team this year so they can get their uh, – their travel suits, their their meals on, on away games, and things of that nature. Thank you so much. What is this here? This is uh, stuff from last year that we had extra that we're uh, trying to sell. Oh, it is cheap as five dollars for some t-shirts. Get here, it's a deal. Absolutely, we got some nice Nike warm-up suits here that are very high priced that are going uh, that are on the market for cheap prices right $25. now. Twenty-five dollars. Wouldn't I look good in this? All right, thank you, Julius. All right, I come to this booth and I have fond memories of a race from a couple years ago. I meet a gentleman that wants to avoid me and I'm friends with him. Please tell me your name. Michael John. Thank you, Michael. Committee Chairman of PAC 215. Understand, repeat that number because we know those numbers PAC are important. PAC 215. What's going on at your booth today? All kinds of cool stuff. A lot of giveaways, all of our signs, all of our trophies. All of our activities, we got maps, camping, all the cool stuff we do. Thank you so much for what you're doing in the community and thank you for being here today. Okay, thanks. Take care. Bye now. I come to the booth and all the mothers and people here went out and I interviewed her at the Joey Fabus 5K one mile run walk against DIPG. She was wonderful. She said hi and what happened? Tell them your name. Um, I'm Danica. Um, what else do I say? And then, what are you doing here? Um, I am, my mom forced me to talk on community day. Yes, she did. I witnessed it. And then what is this booth? Um, it's like a jun Bethel Park Junior Cheer, like, booth. You listen to your mother say that? Mm-hmm. Shout out to your mother. That's oh, well. Um, my mom's here, I guess. Say her name and last name. Um, my mom's Dana Ballou. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And thanks for being here. Yeah. I appreciate it. Good yeah, luck. Thank you. All right. I come to this booth. It looks so classy and interesting. I ask all the women, and they wimped out, especially right behind us. I got two that didn't. I coerced them. She gladly come up. Please tell us your name. Um, I'm Juliet. Do you have a last name? Wells. Thank you. We won't ask the lady behind you because she said she would support you. And what are you doing here today? Um, I'm just helping out, like, telling. Here, what's this? Um, these are, like, the balls that you have to try to get in here. So you got to try to get them over there. No, you have to try to get them in here. And if Hold you it. get... I missed. I missed. Uh, I missed. All right, come no, back to the camera. I lost, but yeah. I still had fun. Thank you for being here yeah. and being on camera. Okay. You're the best to your continued success. Okay. All right, I'm a trustee with the Bethel Park Community Foundation. How can nobody want to talk to the talking machine? So I coerced one of my fellow trustees. Please tell us your name. Hold the mic up. My name is Jen Smith. Thank you, Jen. And my major question is, what are you doing here today? Today we are here representing the Bethel Park Community Foundation at Community Day in Bethel Park. And as a trustee, we try to make it known that we've given out over a million dollars in 26 years. And we do a lot of great activities. We have Bethel Bounty coming up in November. So get your suckers, make some money. Win tickets to Bethel Bounty. There you go. That's why I brought it up. I knew I could get her to fill in. Thank you, Jen. Thank you. I walk up to this booth, the Republican booth, and I see one of my lifelong friends from Bethel Park. 
Please tell them your name. Hi, I'm Jeanette Workmeister. Al and I have been friends forever. <laughs> At least since 83. Absolutely, since our girls were born. Definitely. <laughs> Actually, 88, right? Yes. But you lived there before. Yes, <laughs> and your daughter Mandy's in my prayers. Thank you. My thoughts go out to you. I think of her yep. almost every day. Thank you. Because when we lose somebody like that, it means so much. She's Absolutely. just a great girl. Great young lady. Absolutely. All Thank right. You. What are you doing here today? Well, today we're in front of the Republican booth, and we're uh, hoping we get all of our candidates in. And today's community day, and it's a gorgeous day. So get nice. out there. Get out there and come and see us. Thank you so much, and okay. good Thank luck you, in all Al. you do. Thank you. All right. I walked by and saw the Democratic booth, so I tried to get somebody to do an interview, and they volunteered. Here's my volunteers. What's your name? Uh, Brent Meidenbauer. What are you doing here? Um, we're here selling gyros and hot dogs and supporting our community. That all sounds good to me. Thank you. We appreciate what you do and I want to thank you for being here. Uh, it's fun being here. It's a great day last few years, so enjoy being Sun here. Sun is shining yeah. on us. <laughs> yep. There, that's good. We're good. Awesome. Very good. Thank you. thank you. All right, I'm coming across a booth and I see my friend. Please tell us your name. I'm Jim Jenkins. What is this booth? This is the Bethel Park Historical Society booth at Community Day. And what's going on? What's with this sign here, which I'm a fan of? Well, we sponsor Wreaths Across America every year, where we do wreaths on the graves of veterans I'm in all the cemeteries. I'm 100%. We do the Bethel Park Cemetery last year, 545 graves. And we're going to add in this year, we're going to do Peters Creek Cemetery, which is out on Churchill Road at the end of Bethel Park. Oh, that's great. What's going on here? I see funnel cakes. Well, we also have funnel cakes for sale here at our booth at Community Day, and they're fantastic. Thank you so much. One question. Where's Bill? I did an interview with him when he first came back to Bethel Park because nobody would step up and do an interview. Bill was just here up until about five minutes ago, and he had to go take care of some important business over at our building on South Park Road. Timing is everything, and he's very slick. Yes, he is. Hey, thank you. Thank you. Good to see you. Good seeing you, too. Okay. I come across this booth, and I didn't even know what they're doing, so I asked somebody to step up. Here she is. What's your name? Hi. My name is Maria Rovers. I am Sean Rovers' mom. Sean is a brain cancer survivor. Uh, we... Now I understand what the booth's about. <laughs> I'll put you in my prayer, Sean. I do the Joey Favis Childhood Cancer Run, and I end each show with Stay Joey Strong because he died from DIPG, a dreaded brain cancer. So I'm praying for you. How long has he had cancer? Uh, this is our year four so far. Uh, so and how is he doing? Uh, so far, he's doing good, but uh, we're dealing with, you know, the remnant of the disease. So well, chemotherapy is good and bad. Uh, There's many bad things that happen with it. I lost a girlfriend eight years ago due to cancer. Mm -hmm. So I understand. Mm -hmm. And you're in my prayers. What is going on at your booth today? Um, so everything we sell in this one, uh, these are handmade by me. Uh, everything uh, that we get from here, it goes towards our mission. Uh, our mission is we create smiles. Uh, we send out care packages to children with health issues throughout. Well, where does the money go? Uh, to our organization. Uh, to, uh, the money goes to... Does it help Sean? No, it helps other kids with health issues. Um, we send out the care package to kids with health issues throughout the United States. Uh, we also help other cancer uh, families, especially families that are staying what in the house. What can I buy for $5? <laughs> Uh, we have chocolates. We have that. Um, just what? How much are these? Uh, this is two dollars, and this is two fifty. I'll get two of those. Okay. Right now. All right. Thank you. For the TV. Oh. Sean, help out. <laughs> are there almonds there? I prefer uh, almonds. There is almond. How do I know? I've eaten these over the years. <laughs> Who doesn't <laughs> like Sarah's? <laughs> Support, what is this? Smiles so, from Sean. Smiles from Sean. And Sean gave me my Saris candy bars. <laughs> yes. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for and supporting. Good luck in all you do. Thank you. All right, I'm at this next booth that looks so interesting. They're doing something with IDs. I asked somebody to come up. This lady volunteered. What's your name? 
My name's Karen Aston. We're with Karen, New York Light. What are you Light. doing? What are you doing we're here? Do, we are doing child IDs for the community to make sure that all the kids in the Did area. Did you say giving? It's free. It's free. We're giving them away. We take their fingerprints, their picture, get all their information, and the parents can walk away with it today. And then they have all that information with them. Thank you so much. I You're appreciate welcome. you. Thank you. And thanks for being on BP TV. Thank you. Bye bye. All right, Josh told me to interview this guy. Who are you? Uh, I'm Jacob Dujak. What are you doing here? Uh, you know, I just live down the road. I was just checking it out. Uh, community Whoa. day. Josh Fabus' dad just went by, so you must know him too. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a family friend, the Fabus family. I'm so am there. I. I end every show I do with Stay Joey Strong, Pittsburgh Sports Line. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Th that's definitely. how we do it right yeah, there. That's it. What do you think of today? How's this weather? Uh, you know, it's a little bit cold in the morning. It started off fall? a little too cold. Uh, it's like only the second day. Come on. Uh, but, you Hence, know. Look it up. That's what fall is. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, come on. It's the only second day, and we're at, like, 50 degrees with, like, wind chills that drop it down. It's... It was, like, 44 this morning. I know. It was crazy. Yeah. Like, I wouldn't. Why do you think I got long sleeves See, like you? Like, I would have rode the bike out, but it's too cold. I would, like, freeze to death on that. Well, we have a good day now. Thanks yeah. for doing a quick interview. I only did it because you're a friend of Josh. Is okay. that true? Yeah, that's 100% true. All right, we're good. All right, thank you. Joey Strong, stay out there. Excellent. All right, I'm here at the Bethel Band booth. It means a lot to me. My daughter, Casey Levine, graduated 2006. She played the clarinet for the marching band. So I'm here. Please tell me your name. My name is Mark Shavel with the Bethel Park Music Boosters. Thank you very much. What's going on at the booth today? So what we're doing today, we're selling different BP band, BP music swag. We've got t-shirts, we've got sweatpants. We've got our special 50th anniversary hoagie t-shirts. Love the hoagies. Limited edition. I would sell hoagies all the time, so I appreciate it. And so do we. It. And they were always <laughs> fresh, definitely. Hey, That's everything. Thank you so much. I appreciate what you're doing. Thank you. Hey, Bethel Park, I can't believe it. I run into a friend I haven't seen since back-to-back -back baseball champions of 5A. We drove all the way to Penn State, and this guy out-talked the talking machine. <laughs> Not possible. Tell me your name. I'm Jim Cromie. I'm the communications director for the school district. He does great work in Bethel Park. He's great at PR. He's great at driving and arranging <laughs> PR and marketing. He's off the charts. I'm so glad I met him and talked to him. What are you doing here today? Well, we had a tour of the class of 1971. We were able to show them the last time many of them had been here. We had had a, where we are right now was actually the old high school campus. And then after that was over, I came up and kind of took part in community day just to see all the wonderful things happening in Bethel Park. What a great day. I'm perfect day, perfect fall day. You get any pictures to promote this? You better believe it. What do you think? Oh, I knew. That's yeah. why I'm asking. I know the <laughs> I'm like a lawyer right now. I know the answers. Yeah, it's been great. It's no. really wonderful community and it's a great way to celebrate Bethel Park. And tell them what you post and where you post it. Okay, so we do a lot of uh, stuff. Uh, my job is to get us on to traditional media like television stations, newspapers. Also, we do a lot of social media, and for Bethel Park, that means Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and Twitter. Yes, uh, and he's and then, good. Tell them what your actual job is. Well, my job is that's a lot. A lot of writing and a lot of media placement and a lot of communicating, a lot of letter writing. I'm uh, making sure that our parents and our families, as well as our stakeholders who don't have children in our schools, are kind of informed about what's happening at Bethel Park. And I, I finally met this guy when I saw all these great things happening. I'm like, who's this guy, Citizens of Bethel Park? <laughs> well, I don't know if I'm the Citizens of Bethel Park, but we certainly I see try your to, stuff yeah, there. Yeah. <laughs> you yeah, can't be modest fans. with me. They're big fans. <laughs> but, uh, but we try to do our best to make sure that uh, all the achievements that are happening every day within our building by our students and our staff are highlighted on a broader scale. Thank you so much for this great little mini interview. Okay. I appreciate all you. Right. Hope to see you again soon for something good in Bethel Park. <laughs> Without question. Without question. All right. I came by this booth, just interviewed my friend Jim Cromie, 
and he said, interview somebody at the booth. <laughs> Other people wimped out. This gentleman stepped up. Tell me your name. My name is Jamel Price. Jamel, what are you doing here? So we're, my family's just here to visit. Uh, the, are you know, those your kids? Yeah, well, my, my wife and my son uh, right there, my wife Sharon, my son Troy, we're local uh, community members. You know, we live in the area of Bethel Park. I'm on Bethel Church right across the street from coming here. Okay, yeah. Bethel we're right Park and Church. I'm on a corner. Okay, we're right off of Clifton Road, uh, off of Collie Drive. So, uh, now we're, we're neighbors. Now we're neighbors, you know. And you know, what's happening at this booth? Look, there's rubber bands, Yeah, spoons. yeah, we got, so my son's going to try to build a catapult and hopefully maybe try to see if he can fling You're one of these balls. Evil on us. Yeah, I guess so. So let's see if we can uh, capture the imagination a little bit. So What's it, your son's name? So Stand my, up my here, My son's son. name is Troy. All right. Yeah. There's Troy back there. Yeah. Jamal, thank you very yeah, much. Absolutely. Appreciate nice it. Nice to meet you, nice neighbor. Nice to meet you as well. Thank you. Have a great day. Look at this beautiful weather. It's a beautiful day. Absolutely. It's awesome. We're blessed. Absolutely. All right. I come to one of my best friends in Bethel Park. The owner of EV Hardware, I'm not going to mention his name, Andy Amrine. And I run across his marketing team here. And one of my favorites is a fellow trustee on the Bethel Park Community Foundation, Martina. Please tell us your name. Hi, I'm Martina Tatalius. And your friend? I'm Leah Hartman. And I'm Emily Ashton. Pass it back. And I heard you guys are doing great things for my friend. What is it you're doing here for EV Hardware? So what we're doing is we're trying to increase awareness of the rental side of EV True Value. So we've been going to different events in the community. Um, a little while ago we went to the Summer Bash event and had this kind of like the similar setup, a game for kids. And tonight, today we're here for Community Day and we have a game for kids and all different prizes. What game is have. it? Where are these games? Um, right Come here, on, marketers. Yeah. <laughs> it's we a screwdriver ring toss. Yeah. And if you get it in the screwdriver, then you can win either EV sunglasses merch. or not hats, EV merch. Stickers, this all slinkies. ties together. Yeah. <laughs> put a glass. Put a pair on her. <laughs> You're gonna be BPTV famous. Yeah, you can win a These hat, young ladies are superstars. <laughs> They've been helping Andy out, and I'm honored to interview them. What is your class that got you involved in this? Because I'm a big fan of it. Deca. And tell us your teacher there. Uh, Miss Smuller. Mrs. Smuller. She's, uh, the, she's the best. Yes, yes she's she is. absolutely How do best. I know that? Because your daughter or your sister, <laughs> sorry about that, your sister Sabrina, who I just saw wandering around, I met her years ago when she was like you're younger than you. Mm -hmm. So, and she's still a trustee. Yes. So it's traditional in the family. What's it look like with the rental business? Um, we've actually doubled their sales from last year. Say that again. Doubled it. You know what? Contact them when they graduate. What year are you? Uh, we're seniors this year. Graduating in 2023. Seniors! <laughs> They're going to be looking for jobs. I recommend them. I give them the talking machine. Highest recommendation right here at EV Hardware. Thank you, guys. Thank you I appreciate so it. You were great. Good job. Good. I'm a big fan of DECA, and I came across this great booth. I don't know what signs they have or I'm old, but they're doing something. This young lady started talking and listening to me. So if somebody actually listens to the talking machine, I'm going to bring her up on. What's your name? Uh, my name is Lexi Dorfner. Nice to meet you, Lexi. Nice to meet you too. And how long have you been with DECA? Uh, this is my third year in DECA so Congratulations. Far. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Are yeah. you a senior? No, I'm a junior this year. That's even better. Yeah. You got one more year of growth. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And what are you doing with DECA? Um, well, Name I, one thing. I know you do lots of stuff. I'm a state officer for Pennsylvania DECA. I knew so I was I, with a superstar. I work, on, I work on the state level with uh, a bunch of other amazing people, and we all help run and plan all you the You talk to politicians and everything? Uh, probably not that far. Okay. Just <laughs> I'm, wondered. I'm not that cool. But, okay. Um, I do get to be like a student representative for uh, Pennsylvania, especially this area. Um, I basically have part of like Allegheny County and I have a lot of other surrounding areas. Name one. So uh, I have half of Allegheny County, I have Greene County, I have so Indiana. So you have like near Washington County. I have and Washington that way. County. I have, I have, I think I have like around like 10 counties maybe. I might yeah. be old, but I know a few things. Yeah, me too. <laughs> okay. And what's going on at the booth? These yeah. guys are giving hand signals and everything else. Yeah. They're going to be TV famous, but they're going to be unknown. <laughs> 
Yeah, so right over here we have the Deca Duck Pond, which we have a game for kids and stuff. Whoa. Um, we have the Pajama Pals area. So um, some of the students in Bethel Park Deca, uh, they started a um, little... Um, Are these their pajamas? <laughs> Sadly not. They raise money and people donate pajamas to Pajama Pals and they give um, pajamas to people in foster care. That is great. Mm -hmm. You guys are doing great yeah. things. And then, Sorry to disrespect you, but <laughs> she's talking and in charge. Yeah, and then uh, Mason and Owen and Jack, you're in on it too. They have financial, uh, they're doing a project called I Financially Forward. I believe in show forward. and tell, hold it and smile. Yeah, they're doing Financially Forward. It's a, financially, it's a financial literacy project, and they're trying to uh, grow financial literacy within uh, younger communities. Let me say I agree 110% with you. At 18, I was ready to go. Open up bank accounts and start trading stocks. Good luck to all of you. Thank you so yeah. much. You are strong and you're cool with Oakley's. <laughs> yes. All right, I'm coming by my favorite booth on Bethel Park Community Day. Look at the weather we have. Joey Fabus is smiling on us, Josh and his mom. How can he not? I'm looking for some butterflies too. So we'll okay. see what happens. Please tell us your name. I'm Cindy Fabus. And I got to ask, what are you doing here today? We are here today to uh, spread the word about the Joey Fabus Childhood Cancer Foundation and to spread awareness. In September, it's Childhood Cancer Awareness Month. And please donate at least a dollar or whatever you can afford. There are 501c3. You can write it off on your income taxes. So please help that way. I'm a huge supporter of them. I end every show, Pittsburgh Sports Line, with please stay Joey strong. So Cindy and Dave, please stay Joey strong. Thank you. Thanks for talking to me today. And thank you. All right. Come by this booth with soccer try to get all the sports because of me being a sports guy. Please tell me your name. Hi, I'm Justin Strzok. I'm the president of Bethel Park Soccer Association. I was hoping they gave me the guy in charge. He ordered <laughs> them to straighten that sign on, and they did. What are you doing here today? Well, we're just uh, we're selling every year merch. we sell uh, meatball hoagies and some candy and some merchandise. We got uh, fruit by the foot and, and a bunch of stuff for the kids here. Just hoping to promote our, our soccer association. That. You're my good straight man. No, how's it going today? It looks like really you've been pretty well. busy. It's been what a great day. What a beautiful day. day. Beautiful weather, great turnout today. It's been a great day. Bethel Park supports just like I'm supporting you. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you. Good luck in all you do, guys. Appreciate it. You too. Thank you. All right. All right. I come up to this booth, Bethel Park football. Looks like a great booth. Every booth I've been to today, most people are wimping out. There's a blonde over there told me she said no, said this guy would be good. Three other people joined in. Here he is. Please tell me your name. Uh, my name is Nick Del Greco. Nick, thank you very much. I know the Del Greco name from the Pittsburgh Press and Post Gazette from 1975 because I'm old. My hair was darker than yours. You so. look good, though. Uh, you're, you're my new best friend, Nick. Great family. Except you're so tall. Yeah. All of them were about this tall. All of them. I'm the mutant. If I didn't look like I might worry. Hey, I'm proud to know you. And what are you doing here today? So Pittsburgh, uh, or excuse me, the Bethel Park Boosters for the football team. So we're just selling some stuff to help benefit the team for sure. Are you in charge of this? Unfortunately, yes. Somebody got to take the blame. <laughs> it looks great. What's Thank happening you. here? Nothing. We're just selling shirts and uh, some T-shirts and sweatshirts, giving out some free here, we footballs. We need a little to yeah, there you hold go. that one edge. Love it. Josh, how's that? Oh, that's good. Get so, it. All right. Yeah. No, it's great stuff here. Helping the team. They're doing great this year, too. So. Four and one. That's it. As of last night. Keep pushing. That's it. Good luck. We'll see where they go. Appreciate it. Thank you for the time. All right. Thank you. All right. Thank you. I was at Penn State for the back-to-back -back 5A baseball champions, the first in 5A to win. I was on the field on championship day, interviewed the great team. They're friends of mine. They wanted me to jump in the dog pile. I stepped away and let them enjoy. Now I'm at this booth. I run across every booth. They defer. We don't want to talk. I said I have two questions. What's your name? My name's Sandy White. I am the secretary for our Bethel Park Baseball Boosters. Well, I'm so proud of them, proud of you to be part of that. And you know, my other question is, what are you doing here today? We're here, we come out every year to support our baseball team. And I knew you could answer it. 
Yeah, I can answer that question. And what is going on here? We have a you know a few giveaways. We have some merchandise, some back-to-back -back championship gear There's that we're merch. selling, some Bethel Park baseball gear, and you know just raising some money to provide here, I, for our I program. I can hold show and tell. How am I doing? Perfect. You're hired. I'll take that <laughs> to my many jobs. Thank you for doing the interview and have a good day and relax some more. Thank you. All right, I ran across this nice gentleman talking about trains, and please tell us your name. My name is Leonard. What are you doing here, Leonard? Well, we're running a train for this festival here for the high school, and uh, we just do this because of the little kids in the ring to, to help out the, the we community. We appreciate you being here yeah. to do that. And what's the name of this train company? Or This is under Frank Marucci, Marucci okay. Trains. Mar Marucci Brothers yeah. Train Rides. I right, got it. Right. Right. I wasn't sure, so I checked with you. It was my pleasure to talk to you. Yeah. I've seen you guide the kids in there. Yeah. We don't want to hold them back anymore, right. Lenny. Okay. So I'm going to let you go. Thanks for letting me interview okay. you. You take care of yourself. And tell your boss, Frankie, he missed a great interview. Yes. But yes. we still promoted him. Okay. And thank him for being here and you for being here today on Community Day. Yeah. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. Take care. Have a good day. All right.